Hello friends, we'll be discussing the concept of reason for positive slope of supply curve here. Now, in demand, rather we have understood the negative slope of demand or rather demand curve itself. In supply curve, we'll be understanding the positive slope. Now, the reason why it is called as positive slope with the positive impact or rather the simple impact of with every addition in price per unit, the supply of the quantity increases. There is a direct relation to it and hence there is a positive slope or rather positive curve here that we need to analyze. Let's understand few reasons related to it. Now, the first reason is law of supply states that there exists positive relationship between the price of a product and its quantity supplied. That is proved. Now, the next one, the supply curves upward or rather slopes upwards from left to right. That means it slopes like this. That is a supply curve that we're talking about. This is the left side and this will be the right side. So, it slopes from this specific thing. This is what you need to understand. It means that the supply of a product increases with the increase in its price and decreases with the decrease in its price. So if probably this is the graph that we are talking about. If this is the price, if it increases, then this supply or rather this thing of supply curve will keep on going like this because the quantity will keep on increasing. This is the quantity, this is the price that we are talking about. So when this happens, so you need to understand if the price keeps on increasing, this will still go on like sleep. But if the price keeps on decreasing, then the supply curve will be like this. That is what we are trying to explain you. Hence, this is very important to understand where the slope goes from and how the curves move here. Now, the next thing is producers hire and use resources in order to make profits from the sale of the output produced, at least in the private enterprise sector of a mixed economy. Producers use techniques or other technologies to make sure that they have less cost of production so that they can make maximum use of the profit here, maximize the profit basically. In economics, it is assumed that common object of the firm is not to only make profit but to maximize profit. As discussed right now, it is not just making profit, it is to maximize or rather use very less resources and maximum output of it is the all or rather this is the matter of any corporate firm, any firm that is in existence right now and is making profit. Hence, since most firms could supply other products apart from the goods or services in question, it is unlikely that they would be prepared to supply a large amount of this goods and service if the prices were very low. Absolutely, if the prices are going low, then why would someone supply more or larger quantity of those goods to someone else? It is of no reason. If you're not getting or rather if you're not even to or if you're not even to cover the break-even point here, it doesn't make sense. Hence, at any given point of time, if you're able to cover the break-even point whereby if this is the supply curve or rather this is the thing, if this is the point where you have to reach and if you're not even able to reach this point, then it doesn't make supplying so many goods because this cost is not covered yet. Hence, to cover this cost, you need a basic price and price should keep on increasing from there that's when you'll be able to understand few more details on this because this implies low profits after production cost have been taken into account because after production cost is taken into account if the selling price is almost equal to the production cost what profit are you going to make that's a simple logic the next part refers to indeed there must be some price at which no firms would be prepared or rather would be prepared to supply a product because it is so low that it would not cover the minimum cost at which each unit of that product could be produced because it is very clear that if no firms would be prepared to supply, if none of the firms are prepared to supply that quantity at a lower price, neither of the firm will go ahead and supply that thing because it is a cost to production. And if for any firm it goes and supply, it is breaking the void or rather it is making them at a damaging side and that will cause them or rather that specific firm to lose out or become bankrupt at some given point of time. Conversely, the higher the price, the firm can charge to sell a product given the cost of the factors of production the more profitable product becomes and the larger the amount will be supplied in the market 
if everything remains constant if the price keeps on increasing of course the supply will be more and that will maximize the profit here hence we make the logical assumption that other things being equal other things being equal or rather this thing is very constant everything will remain constant apart from the price here including the number of firms in the market scale of production of each firm or rather the cost of factors the higher the price of good or service the greater will be the quantity supplied of that good or service in the market and vice versa so this is what you need to understand that whenever other things are constant only the price is moving if the price is increasing the quantity supplied will be more and that is very obvious when it comes to the positive slope of this curve of supply so that supply curve is supposed to be understand in a direct relationship itself there is no other thing that you need to think of when it comes to that specific pattern so this is all that you need to think about that's all that we have in this reason or rather in this video where we have discussed about the reason for the positive slope of supply curve thank you